What's up guys? Now I just saw the Captain Marvel trailer too and man does it look awesome! I'm like super excited for that movie now! Like, well, I was actually already excited for it, but then like the second trailer made me like super excited. It's just like, like, it's just, just, woo, Brie Lawson, yay! But anyways, so I'm just watching the trailer, you know, yada yada yada, woo, that's cool, this is great, awesome! Trailer reaction, and then all of a sudden I come across this scene, I'm like, whoa! Hold the pickle, hold the mail, whoa, let's rewind for a second there! Is that an F-22? And what wait, wait, is that an F-35 in the background too? Whoa, 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 this, this, this can't be right. Now first off, this film is supposed to be set in 1995. The F-22 did not make its first flight until 1997. Now one could say, okay, it's just a prototype, but I mean, that, that, that looks like a pretty flight capable F-22, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it's good to fly. And then on top of that, you see the F-35 in the background. The F-35 didn't make its first flight until 2006. Even if you want to say it's a prototype, they didn't make the prototype airframe until 2003. And if you want to go backwards and talk about the prototype that led to the F-35, which is the X-35, that one didn't have its first flight until 2000, five years after 1995. So the fact that both of them are in there means the soonest that this scene could be taking place is 2000. So, so like that makes me wonder, did they mislead us as usual? I mean, it is Marvel. I mean, the Hulk in Infinity War Wakanda battle, ha, <laughs> nah. No. But if it does take place in 1995, and then this scene shows an F-22 and F-35, F-35 being like earliest being 2000, does this movie span five years? Or 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 is this like, like a end credit scene or something? And you know that this is a continuous scene because you see them in the hangar here, and then you also see that white jet behind the F-22. There's that jet right there, and they show him taking off. You know, the jet that people are saying is like a prototype Quinjet, which honestly kind of looks like a mix between the Halo dropship and the Episode 2 Clone Trooper dropship thing. But it, it probably can't be an end credit scene because um, you see the scar on Nick Fury's eyebrow? If you look at the trailer, throughout the trailer, it goes through varying degrees of healingness of he is that a word? It heals throughout the movie. And if you go to this scene where she's saying something in her past is key to all of this, it's quite healed. So this can't be a really long end credit scene because that would just be a really long end credit scene, which would be just... But yeah, the first pass through watching that trailer, they just got me off guard and like I instantly like putting the comments saying all the stuff I just said, hoping somebody would know, you know, I, I think I posted it like an hour after the video posted on Marvel's website or YouTube page, so I, I don't know, maybe I should check it again. So does the movie take place in 1995? Or does it not? And if it does, does it extend like at least five years? If anybody out there knows more about Captain Marvel or what they're doing, I mean, if you could, you know, comment below on what's going on. If, if not, just put your theories down there. But anyways, moving on to some other cool stuff from the trailer. We finally find out that the grandma is a scroll. This city here kind of looks like Coruscant from Star Wars. Oh, and this is cool too. I love how they actually brought the mask from the comic books. Like she has both. It just kind of pops on and off, you know, kind of like, you know, the Black Panther's mask, but it's probably much more sophisticated. Oh, and on a side note, remember like a month or two ago when the Captain Marvel Marvel Legend toys were like leaked on Amazon? They showed Captain Marvel and it said, comes with alternate head and you know, and Brie Lawson saw that and then she posted on her Instagram, hmm, what's the alternate head? Brie, you, you know what the alternate head was, Brie. You you knew what the alternate head was done. Yeah. Either way, I'll be reviewing those toys when I get my hands on it, so we will find out then. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about that time period inconsistency that I was talking about and you know, if you have other theories. But anyways, thanks for watching guys and coming up up next is a review of the Marvel Legends Spider-Man game Spider-Man here, so that, that'll be cool. And until then, I will catch you guys, oh, that didn't stand up, in the next video. Peace.